price for rationing. It's simply talking about how goods are being allocated to, put to consumers who can afford them if the demand increases. So as soon as demand increases, firms, businesses will respond by increasing the price. So then rationing will come in. Goods will be rationed to those who can afford it because the price will definitely increase. That is rationing. Only to those who afford it, the price will increase. No. The demand increases. Yes. If demand increases, price, increase. price will definitely increase because consum producers will react yes. or respond towards that increasing demand. At that point in time, the price would, as soon as the price increases, those who can afford it will still buy. So it means goods will be rationed mm -hmm. to those who can afford it. That is rationing. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, if demand falls, as soon as demand falls, price is expected to reduce. Why? Because goods want, producers want to sell all their goods. Mm -hmm. so they will be able to ration it to everyone. The, the goods will be sold. Okay. That is rationing. Then we we'll go to signaling. Price is also, price is also a signal as a signal function. How does it have, how does it have a signal function? It serves as a signal function because when price increases, it tells consumers to change. It's a sign to consumers to change their attitude towards buying. It's also a sign to producers to change their attitudes towards selling. As soon as price increases, let's use rationing and signaling. Demand has increased, which brings about an increase in price. Yeah. So it's a sign to consumers to stop buying, to change their attitudes towards spending, because the price has increased. If not, they will spend more than what they used to spend. Yeah. And at that point in time, the price has increased. It's also a sign, it serves as a sign to producers to increase their output, because they will be able to sell more. Because they higher the price. That is sign uh, price as a signaling function. Mm -hmm. Is it clear? Analyzes. That's the analysis. As soon as price increases, a fall in supply from S1 to S2. A fall in supply. This is, yeah, when there's a fall in supply, a fall in supply will bring about a, a rise in price. A fall in supply will bring about a rise in price. Demand from Q O B to O A. This will lead to a movement upward in the demand curve. This will be a higher equilibrium price. At F. At O E. At F. At O. At F. At E. Sorry. At E. Do you get it? So it, there's a signaling and rationing function here because the fall in supply leads to a higher equilibrium price. How? As soon as there's a fall in supply, it means the quantity supply in the market would reduce. If the quantity demand that supply reduces in the market, it will move this, the demand curve upward, bringing about a high equilibrium price. Okay. Clear? Is it clear, please? Mm -hmm. Incentive. Incentive. Prices of motorization for buying and sellers in the market. Continue. Yes, yes. Prices act as an incentive for buyers and sellers. Low prices encourage buyers to purchase more goods. For consumers, this is because the amount of satisfaction or utility gain per dollar spent increases relative to other goods. So, price is also an incentive. That means it's a motive to buy. Yeah. So, a lower price means we can buy more based on the law of supply. The lower the price, the higher the quantity okay. dem demanded. So, as soon as price reduces, there's incentive, there's a motive to buy more. Why? Because the amount you're going to spend is less. Than is the, less. The, the, amount of, the amount you're going to spend is less as compared to other goods yeah. at that point in time. That means you're going to have more, more utilities, yeah. more, utility, more satisfaction yeah. buying that product compared to other products. Yeah. That is incentive. Okay. And for producers, a higher price becomes an incentive for them to produce more based on the law of supply. The higher the price, the higher the quantity supplied. Demand. Supplied. Higher the price, higher the quantity demand. Supplied. Demand. For supply. The law of supply. The law of demand is the higher the price, the lower the quantity demanded. Yeah, yeah, I thought you said different. I said supply. We're talking oh, about okay, okay. incentive for suppliers. The incentive for suppliers will come as a result of a rise in price. Okay. So if price increases, it is a motive for firms to increase their price. Yes. yes. Is it clear? Yeah. Any question about that? That's all about price mechanism. So for price mechanism, we're talking about demand, the market forces of demand and supply deciding the price. Okay. If price has to be decided, price, price leads to the signaling function, the rationing function, and um, yes. incentive function. So that is what price will do to any household. Indirect tax. 